In this video, you will learn how to check, also called to bench, your icon field rover against control points and create a report that can serve as documentation for the measurement accuracy. This procedure eliminates human errors, such as setting an incorrect antenna height or coordinate systems and provides confidence in the accuracy of the measured data. A control point on a job site is what we call a known point where the exact position is known. We recommend doing this procedure daily on minimum one control point before measure and stakeout tasks. This ensures that your measurements are as accurate as possible. Some contractors use this as an important part of the documentation for the entire as-built data. Basically, we can get the required coordinates for control points in two ways. As plain information on paper or in a text file. As a file with position coordinates, we can import directly to Icon Field. We recommend this option. In this video, we have already imported the points as control points. Icon Field displays control points as triangles in the map. For more information, watch the video about setting up projects with Icon Field. We start in the main menu of Icon Field and confirm that we are in the correct project, like a road, and the job is day one. We select Stakeout. Now it is time to locate the physical control points. If you have any doubt about where to find them, please call your foreman or surveyor. In the status bar, you can see the current antenna height value. Make sure the actual pole length is set to correspond with that value. Then place the tip of your pole directly on the control point. And ensure that your pole is vertical. In this example, we are benching on CP003. Select the control point on the screen by pressing on it. When the control point is selected, the measure bar becomes available. Optional step. In this example, we have selected the point code CP. Using a point code will make it easier to fill the report later on. We can also see the position deviations. If the northing and easting deviations are less than 20 mm and the elevation deviation is less than 30 mm, you are ready. If they differ more, there are two things you should do. Check that the pole is adjusted to the same length as the antenna height value in the status bar. Bench at another control point to see if the deviation is due to a damaged control point. If the deviations are still too high, then please call your local LIGA support. If deviations are OK, press Measure to store the point for reporting. We recommend performing this procedure on at least one control point per day and per project. Let us generate the report. Press Home to return to the Home menu. Press Reports. Select the report type Stakeout. Make sure that the correct job and export format are selected. Press OK. A preview of the report is displayed. This contains the key information of benching the rover, including the deviations and CQ values for each checked control point. This report will bring value and credibility to all your measured points for that day on this project. It may even be a requirement for some of the projects you work on to provide such a control report. Press OK. Select the destination. We select the USB key. You could rename the report, but here we keep the generated file name. Press OK. That's it. You have learned how to pinch your icon field rover against control points and create a report that can serve as documentation for the measurement accuracy. As the logical next step, 
you may want to watch videos about measuring and staking out points and lines with Icon Field.